one of the questions I got in part one was, can you bend the actual pipe? Well, if we look at the actual het to oil pipe, it's very flexible and very easy to bend. But if we look at the Tigris pipe, so you can see the Tigris pipe or the PECT pipe is not as flexible as the HEP2O 2 pipe. And also, this is 16 millimeters. So that means it won't go on the standard fittings because it's 16 mil. And also that means that the HEP pipe also won't fit in to the Tigris fittings. Don't know why they've done that, but they have. Probably so you don't get the pipes mixed up. Because what's the difference in the pipes? So in the standard HEP pipe, you can see that it actually is multi-layered and it's got three layers in there, but slightly different on this one. This is all plastic inside here. This has aluminium and that's what gives it its rigidity. So when it comes to bending, let's see if we can bend it around my knee. So you can see it does bend around my knee, but it gives quite a big radius bend there. Or is that just because I've got a big knee? With the HEP pipe, once we bend it, it doesn't stay, does it? kind of does if you hold it and clip it, but it doesn't on its own. So that's one of the major differences is once we bend this, because it's got the aluminium in there, it will actually stay in shape for us. What about when it comes to cutting it? Well, when you're cutting this stuff, you can use this type of cutter. It gives us a nice square cut but you can also use the old-fashioned wheel cutters obviously you can't use your pipe slices on it because it's 16 mil not 15 mil and again by the rusty wheel <laughs> you can see that's given us a great cut but can we put these in a pipe bender and See if we can bend it with that. I haven't actually tried it yet. So let's have a look at that. 